Welcome to Explore My World. My mom and brother are at Madhouse on Mulberry Street in New York City, and they're going to show you what it's like. Yeah, we are definitely about to show you a little bit of what Madhouse on Mulberry Street is like, what it has to offer. We'll go over some pricing information with you guys as well. And shout out to Anthony, my 10 year old. He was sitting here with me while I was doing some editing and decided he wanted to try his very first voiceover. He did a pretty good job. Round of applause. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. So right now we are walking in Little Italy. You can see the sign there, welcome to Little Italy. Um, it's not lit up yet because it is still daytime, but we are on our way to Mulberry Street where they have a really cool haunted house, haunted attraction with a bar at the end called Madhouse on Mulberry Street. Bad. What's the name? Little Italy. Checking out Little Italy. And also going to Madhouse on Mulberry. Yes. Before we headed over to Madhouse, we actually got a chance to check out the Friends experience. That was so, so much fun. If you are a fan of the show, I definitely recommend checking out that video. It was a ton of fun. Once we left the Friends experience, we walked to the 23 Street Station. It was about a three to four minute walk. We boarded the six train downtown to Brooklyn Bridge City Hall. Um, and that was about a six minute train ride. There was four stops. We had to exit at Spring Street. Now, once we got off of the train, we had to follow the signs for Spring Street and Lafayette Street, um, the northwest corner. And that put us about a three minute walk to Upside Pizza where we grabbed some lunch. After we grabbed some pizza, we headed over here to Madhouse. So the VIP tickets were $59 each. Um, I bought two tickets totaling $134.02 after fees and taxes and everything. And that does or did include um, a syringe shot as a welcome drink and a blood bag at the end of the haunted house. It also included express entry. That way you don't have to wait in the general admission line. 45, 535, 45. Hey, do they mind if I was standing in line for a minute and then I'll... You can use it. No, it has no flash. You're good. Okay. 5, I would say 530, 530, right? Yeah, 530, 545. Mexican? Yeah, I like it. You want to get shots in a blood bag? Is that what we get? Um, I don't know. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. That's your shot and a blood bag. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and I can't see the screen. <laughs> Here you go. Do you want me to just put it in my bag? We're entering Madhouse on Mulberry. See 
you guys can check this out. <laughs> So parts of this video when we go through the haunted house will be a little dark because we weren't allowed to use any type of lights or flash or anything like that. So I do apologize, but of course we had to follow guidelines. As you can see, Madhouse is for all ages, so feel free to bring your kids if they are into this type of thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, guys, so I really do believe this was a real bathroom. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, we just left Madhouse on Mulberry. And Babe and I had an awesome experience. The haunted house was fun, hands down. It's probably like a 15 minute experience walking through the whole thing. It's not too bad, you can bring out cameras as long as there's no flashes. We uh, ended up paying, I think it was $135 altogether because we paid for the VIP experience, which included two shots. So we got a shot of some spicy tequila at the very beginning and then a blood bag. Which that was good. Was, <laughs> I think it was probably wine. It so, tasted like wine. Yeah, it tasted like it wine, good, but it had a consistency of uh, blood color. So it might have been red wine, but all together, guys, it was a cool experience. I actually liked it better than the other one we went to. But, Blood uh, Manor. Blood Manor. Yeah, and, uh, I liked it better than Blood Manor, too. Yeah, even though Blood Manor, was, it seemed a little bit longer, this one actually had me a little bit more on edge, and I liked uh, I liked the interacting of, of all the actors in there they, they do kind of bounce into you and jump around so it was cool. it was fun yeah, it was and it's called fun. madhouse on mulberry it's on mulberry street you can yeah. see the sign mulberry right there. street here in little That's italy so, so you guys come italy. and check out little italy very very cool experience go around the corner here baby show them little italy in downtown right now. So we booked our tickets for Madhouse on this website, bucketlisters.com. They have a ton of things you can choose from on here, not only in New York, but Chicago, Los Angeles, and other cities as well. If you click on the New York option, it will bring you to a page uh, where you can break down into different categories there, um, like food and drink, nightlife, things like that. You can also scroll through here to see some things that may be coming up. This is perfect for those of you who may be visiting New York City for this holiday season. There's lots of things on here. One of our favorites is listed, the Diker Heights Christmas Lights Tour. That was a lot of fun. We did it last December when we visited for Christmas. Um, so definitely a, lots of, a lot of things to check out. You can also utilize the search option if there's something specific you're looking for. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed.